Hello, I'm Liz from ReviewHarbor.net and today I'm going to show you a piece of software called Duplicate Photo Cleaner. Now, as the name suggests, this app can help you find and delete duplicate photos and other images. And now, what I like about it is that you can find both exact duplicates as well as similar images. Basically, you know, when you take your camera and go shooting, you take several shots of everything just to make sure. And then you saw through your photos and you select the best shots. That's not a problem when you have like 20 or 30 photos, but it becomes quite difficult when you have hundreds of images to sort through. And that's where Duplicate Photo Cleaner can help you. Because it will find similar images, photos of the same subject, resized photos, um, shots taken with uh, different exposure settings or aperture, touched up the images, whatever, anything that looks similar. And it makes it really easy to delete the photos or images you don't want to keep. So, let's take a look at it. Now, this software is available on both Windows and Mac operating systems. I'm on a Mac, so let's get started. First of all, I'm going to click on Settings and check the similarity threshold. By default, it's set to 85%, which means that Duplicate Photo Cleaner will find both exact duplicates, which are basically the same image in two different locations, and similar images. Now, if you wanted to find only exact copies of your photos, you move this similarity threshold to 100%, and that's it. I'm going to put it back. Click OK. Then, let's select the scan mode. Standard scan is pre-selected. There is also iPhoto scan and photo scan. These are Mac features. They are not available in the Windows version. And there is also sector detail scan, which is a very interesting scan mode because it allows you to select a sector on an image. For example, a flower, a daffodil on your photo and check other photos for that particular element, for that particular daffodil. This scan mode is slower because it's very precise but it's a lot of help when you need to sort your photos by element and find your best shot of that daffodil. Anyway, let's go back to standard scan. Now, we'll have to add some, add some folders. Here is this large area where you can drag and drop your folders. I'm not a big fan of drag and dropping. I'm a, a bit old-fashioned here. So I'm going to click inside the area and add a folder. That's my paintings. I'm going to add it. And click on the big green button to start the scan. Now it shouldn't take too long because there are not too many images in that folder. Basically that folder contains my paintings. And I know that I have quite a few of resized pictures there you know, full resolution and um, smaller versions for the web. Now we're almost finished here. That's it. And Duplicate Photo Cleaner found 50 matches. Here are some details. It scanned 188 photo files. One has exact matches. That means that one has a a duplicate. And 49 are considered to have similar content. Now these are all my resized and touched up photos. And I can save 400 megabytes of space. Which is not a lot. But it's a lot for just one folder. 
So if you have a lot of images on your computer, this piece of software can save you gigabytes. Seriously. Now, let's go fix them. Okay, well previously I've selected table view from the view menu, so I prefer this view because it shows me how similar the images are. Now you can see that this one and this one, they're very similar because I use the same background. But here I have this tiny yellow balloon, a happy image, a happy painting. Uh, this one is digital by the way, so that's how I managed to use the same background. I can swap images if I want to, and I can check the full path. Now, here is another pair. Let's select another pair. So this one is an even larger one, this balloon in the sky, because it's almost 20 megabytes. And there is another pair of the same. So this is the original and these are similar. Now, these are pretty much the duplicates because the only thing that's different is the size. This one is 461 kilobytes and this one is almost 20 megabytes. Here is another duplicate group. Again, you see, this is the resized image. It's resized. And this one is large. Now, are there any more? Yes, well, let's check this one. Again, the size is different. See, I've been using the same background quite a lot. And the similarity is 88%. Now, you get the idea. You can also view your duplicates as tree view. This is also a nice view because it shows you exactly where the duplicates are. Now, these are not digital, just the resized image of uh, my Scottish deer painting. The expression style. Anyway, we won't go into that. And if you want to sort through your images really quickly, then there is the multi viewer. And we have to wait a bit for the images to appear, which is okay. So here we go. Everything at a glance. Literally everything. Now these are duplicates. Same size, same thing. Let's select and delete one of them. Um, I don't need this one either. And I do need the rest of them. So I'm going to delete them. It asks me if I'm sure. Yes, I am. And there we go. Duplicate photo cleaner is deleting them and placing them to trash. Now, on Windows, you have two deletion options. You can put the photos in the recycle bin, or you can bypass it and delete them forever. On a Mac, everything goes to trash, and here are the deleted images. And, you know, sometimes you go, oops, I didn't want to delete that image, I want it back. Now, here is the undo button for that. And we're going to undo the action. And there we go. All the images are back. You can start a new scan if you want to. This will erase the results. Now, what I want to do now is show you how the sector detail scan works. You drop an image here, or you add an image. Um, let's see, let's see which one to choose. Um, well, I'm 
I'm not sure which one to choose. Perhaps this one. And now, and now we click on next. Now we can select a sector. Any sector, you just move your mouse, you hold it down and you move the square, the rectangle, and then you start the scan. Zero matches found because I don't have duplicates of that particular painting. So no elements from that painting appear in other paintings or images, which is all right. And we can go and start a new scan if we wanted to, but we're not going to because that's it. So that's duplicate photo cleaner for you. Very useful software available for Windows and Mac. It uh, has a free trial version which allows you to manage up to 10 duplicates. After that, if you want to buy it, it costs $40 US dollars. Um, if you don't want to buy it, well, you just don't buy it. And um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a great day.